Hey guys, welcome to the full what I eat in a day video. Now before we get started, I hate stalling in, in these long intros, but I wanted to explain something. One, I apologize for this super low energy, just boring type of video that this is. I was having a really bad day yesterday, but I still wanted to make this video and I had to drag myself in order to do it because for some reason I just couldn't have the energy or the just I just couldn't drive myself to do it. So I apologize for the low energy, just feeling that you're going to get throughout this video. And two, I wanted to mention that you're going to notice that I really don't track protein or keep track of how much protein I have. Um, for instance, you're supposed to have one gram per gram, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you should be having 150 grams of protein. I do highly recommend that. But for me, it's not as important right now. I don't really track it as accurately into the T. I don't really track it at all. I'm mainly worried about the calories that I'm putting into my body because that's what's most important for me at least. If I was cutting, it'd be a completely different story and it's really important that you get to protein to make sure that you prevent muscle loss. But for right now, my body has so much extra calories that the protein isn't as important, therefore I don't track it right now. So I just wanted to mention that before we get into the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys at the end of the video. So this is meal number one. This is 220 grams of Zoe or Zoe Greek yogurt. I don't know how to say it. Um, for some reason, it acts really weird when you try to act certain foods and it doesn't let you do grams. And I didn't know cups or anything like that, but it's around 100 and it's around 30 something grams of uh, oats, salted caramel oats from uh, Target. And then 19 or so grams of honey or 17 grams of honey. And this is the biggest thing that really helps me get in enough calories for the day. It's this Ensure Plus Nutrition Shake. And you can literally see right there, it's 350 calories, which is really, really helpful. So in total, um, this meal comes out to around 950-ish calories. It is 458 for just the yogurt itself. And then with the Ensure Plus adding another, 300, another 350, it brings it up to four plus three is seven or around 800 i apologize around like 800 900 calories so this is meal number one so this is meal number two right here this is 200 grams of atlantic salmon 110 grams of rice and then one sweet hawaiian roll like the, the really really good ones um so yeah nothing too crazy um i'm really excited to have this as you can see it's really like 110 right now i usually like to have this meal around like one around 12 30 ish but i ended up having a late breakfast because right after i shot all the beginning portions of this video i had to hurry up and leave because it was already time for me to go so i ended up having to drive my breakfast to work and eat it there which meant that my lunch is a little bit delayed so everything's going to be slightly off just because the morning i didn't prepare correctly and, and time everything correctly so i'm gonna go ahead and have this um and then I'll check in with you guys for the next meal. I almost forgot to mention at the beginning of this clip too, I like to have this, you see this in literally like all my videos. I have two of these a day, which is around a gallon of water. Um, I like to have that with me literally every single place I go, even if I'm just going to Safeway and coming back home, I bring that water with me. I drink this water throughout the entire day. And like I said, I like to have around two to three of them, which is around a gallon of water a day. It's okay if you don't hit it. It's just good to always have water in your system, even if you're not super thirsty. Um, I like this because it stays cold literally all day. So like I said, I like to have this with me every single place that I go. I try to drink it throughout the day and I try to refill it around two to three times a day, which is around a gallon of water. All right, guys, so it is around 3.30 right now. I'm going to go ahead and have my Cliff Bar that you've seen in a few of my other videos. It's just an oatmeal raisin one. The great thing about this one is that it's 250 calories that you can see right there. So it's a perfect little snack to have just to hold me over in between meals before I go home and have my pre-workout meal. Um, and as you can see, uh, we are really putting in a lot of calories at the beginning of the day. Um, it's really good for me to do that because I don't like cramming in a lot of calories before I go to the gym and before I go to bed. I like to start off really high and eat a bunch and slowly have less and less and less but more calorie dense foods. Uh, just because I don't like having a lot of stuff in my stomach at the end of the day. 
um but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this maybe in like 30 minutes or so i'm not super hungry but i'm not as full as i was from having the meal that i had earlier so i'm gonna have this in like the next few minutes or so and then we should be good to go and i will check in with you guys before we go to the gym so you guys can see my pre-workout meal What is going on guys i just got back from the gym a little bit ago it is exactly 5 40 on the dot this is usually the perfect time actually that i have my pre-workout meal because it gives me an hour to digest because i leave for the gym around seven ish so it'll give me an hour to digest 20 minutes to get ready for the gym and then seven o'clock i go ahead and head for the gym more like 6 50 i had around there but i wanted to show you guys the pre-workout meal which is captain crunch which seems a little bit weird but um, Captain Crunch is actually a really good pre-workout meal. It's kind of similar to having like Rice Krispies uh, before the meal. Um, it's very good in carbs, uh, a little bit high in sugar, but I don't really mind too much. But it's really good because it digests really fast. It's high in carbs, so it's a great thing to have for pre-workouts. So like I said, very similar to Rice Krispies. It digests really fast, goes into the blood, gives you a really nice pump. Um, and it's also really light. I'm only going to have one bowl of this. This comes out to... 79 just around 80 grams of the actual cereal itself 8.7 fluid ounces of the lactose free milk that i use so all together comes out to just under 500 calories which is perfect nothing too crazy still high in the calorie department but not too crazy in terms of the density of it it'll be really light and probably like an hour or so i'm gonna already start to feel it digesting and it's not gonna be too crazy so it's perfect for the pre it's perfect for pre-gym and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I will see you guys at the gym. So it is 6.18. This is usually the time that I take a shower, but I completely forgot to show you guys the pre-workout that I take. So I use the pre-workout right here. I do take a pre-workout pretty much every single day. You really don't have to. If you get enough sleep and you're getting adequate sleep, you really don't need to take a pre-workout, but I do it just because I like doing it and I'm low key. I don't wanna say addicted to it because I can go a few days without taking it. I just like the feeling it gives me. But why am I always so out of breath when recording these? Anyway, the pre-workout that I use, in case you're interested, is Woke AF. Um, I've been using this probably for uh, around a month and a half, I want to say. This thing is actually lasting me really long. I can remember when I even bought this, but this is the one that I use in case you're interested in the macros or anything like that. There you go. In case you're interested and want to do some research. If you want a pre-workout that's like not stimulant or a low stimulant or something that doesn't make you feel like jittery or like your fingers and it just feel weird you can get a non-stim by Derek from more plates more dates gorilla mode they have two versions of this they have a stim free version which is the one that i recommend to a lot of people or a stim version which is going to give you like that energy that amped up feeling and stuff like that but i gotta hurry up because it's already later than what i usually do to take a shower so i'm gonna take a shower and then i'll actually see you guys at the gym I'm sorry guys, I had to step in one more time because I keep forgetting things in the video. One thing that I like to, or that I want to mention about the pre-workout is that I actually leave it in the refrigerator at the very beginning of the day so that it's cold when I drink it around 5.30 or 6.30 I mean, because I like to drink it like a regular drink. I don't take it like I shot and dry scoop it like a lot of influencers do and stuff like that. I don't like doing that. I actually prefer to drink it like a regular drink. Um, and two, the other thing that I like to do is not put as much water in it. I, I know like a lot of the labels say you usually want to do like six to eight ounces. I want to say I don't like doing that because it, when there's that much liquid and you're doing it 30 minutes before a workout, you can still feel kind of waterlogged and it just feels like it's sitting in your stomach even while you're working on it. It's a really uncomfortable feeling. So I like to have like maybe like three ounces, three to four ounces in the drink ends up being really, really strong because it's not supposed to be in that little water. But I prefer it like that because it's a lot more, it just passes through me a lot quicker. I don't feel like I just drank a gallon of water before going to the gym. And it's just a lot more, it's just a lot better experience when having the pre-workout. So those are my things. You don't have to do those, but I just wanted to mention those because those are two really big things that I do literally every single day. I put it in the fridge to chill. I drink it 30 minutes before the workout and I also try to make sure I have a little, little bit of water in it just to dilute it. I don't dry scoop it or anything like that, but that's about it. Now I'll actually see you guys at the gym.
back home from the gym and I'm having my last meal of the day. Um, I'm sorry it's a little bit dark in here. I don't have my light with me, but we are having 210 calorie uh, tortilla wrap right here. Then we have some beans and some ground chicken, I believe. I don't remember the entire <laughs> portions, which is why I have the picture for you guys to see it, but this is what we're having. Um, I usually would like to have something a little bit more calorie dense, to be honest. Um, this isn't as high of a calorie count as I want to have for dinner, and it's gonna fill me up a lot. So this would be a great meal if I was cutting, but since I'm bulking right now, I kind of just have to take what I get because I live with my parents still, and this is what they made for dinner. So I'm gonna hurry up and scarf this down because I have to still take a shower. I have to edit this video because it's literally Tuesday, which is yesterday for you guys that are watching this. I have to hurry up, take a shower, eat this, and then wait another hour to eat my last meal of the day. Um, and then I gotta wrap this video up. So I'm gonna hurry up and go scarf this down while editing the beginning of this video. And then I'll check in with you guys in about an hour or so, so you guys can see my last meal of the day. Well guys, we made it to the end of the video. It is 11.41. This is way later than I prefer to eat. I usually try to eat around 11. Everything got mixed around, so every, all my meals got shifted, which sucks, but it is what it is. I like staying up late anyway. Um, and I'm gonna go to bed right after I eat this. So literally just a regular old peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, it is uh, 33 or 22-ish or 33 something grams of peanut butter um 23 grams of jelly and because i didn't necessarily get as many calories as i wanted for dinner i'm gonna go ahead and add another inshore drink in there which rounds it off to around 3300 3400 calories um dinner i usually want it to be a little bit higher and since dinner didn't fill me up i could have ate a little bit more but i was in a rush to edit the video and things like that so i didn't eat more but usually i try to eat around 3500 calories um and also before i forget also take my creatine five grams every single day i've been doing that for i don't know how long at this point but this is what i eat in a day 3400 usually try to aim for 3500 calories in a day the food shifts depending on what i feel like having how often i have it but this is what i eat in a day and hopefully you guys enjoyed it i apologize again for the low energy video i was a little bit all over the place and just tired in general so um, hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button down below. If you guys have a video idea and you want me to do it, please do it with a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.